My name is Gifford Miller. I have the good fortune to be chair of the Center for an Urban Future. It's my pleasure to welcome you here this morning. The Center for an Urban Future, I think, is an extraordinary institution. It's a privilege to serve on its board, and I know there are a couple of other board members here, and, and to have an opportunity to support an organization that does really unique work here in the U.S. I think uh, uh, there are very few organizations nationally that still do the sort of work that the Center for New Urban Future is known for uh, across the city. Thoughtful, uh, uh, intelligent, uh, uh, wise research, and evidence-based uh, uh, research that doesn't have a predetermined outcome, but then not only identifies problems, but also identifies solutions. It's a, it's a, it's a, it's a unique, really, uh, approach that the Center for Urban Future has. And we focus on the kinds of problems that others don't. Uh, and this uh, this morning's uh, uh, forum is a, uh, is, a, is a good example of that. Uh, this is a city that is going to be grappling with the issues of aging uh, in general, in particular with the extraordinary uh, uh, growth of immigrant uh, uh, seniors in, in our city. And uh, thinking about what the, the implications are uh, is always important. Uh, but to, of course, you know, in today's world, with a, with a new administration coming in the next. Uh, uh, several months. It's a particularly right time to be considering practical, uh, intelligent, thoughtful uh, solutions at the problems that we're going to be uh, grappling with. Um, I, it, this morning wouldn't be possible uh, without Jonathan Horowitz and the Blanchenders Trust who, uh, who made uh, this event uh, uh, and the study behind it uh, uh, happen. Uh, and of course it wouldn't be possible without Jonathan Bowles, our uh, fearless uh, 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 Executive Director, uh, and I'm very happy, happy to have the opportunity to introduce him so that we can get on the John, thank you.